All right, guys, we're back with part five, and here's the camera that we're going to be using. So go ahead and grab your camera and make sure to get that bag that had the small screws in here. You can use the Allen wrench if you want. I'm going to use the same tool um, that I used to put the motor screws in. But let's just go ahead and look at this here. We can dump those screws out. You keep the Allen wrench there if you want. Just make sure not to get these screws into the motors. So let's put them like that. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and kind of turn my drone here a little bit. Um, these are the plates that we're going to be used to, uh, to put our cameras in. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with one side. Just pick whichever side. I'm going to use, if it's facing this way, I'm going to use the right side. And I'm going to take the screw and I'm going to take my camera. And when you mount the camera, um, you're going to have the plug facing the top. Okay, this is up. This would be the camera upside down. So have it with the plug facing the top. Line it up with this little piece right here. All right, and you could actually take this off if you want to take your plate off. Line the screw hole up and just fasten this in. Not too tight though, but just like that, okay? Now, to make sure you've done it right, you want to make sure that the slits here are on the bottom and that the hole is on the top and that it's facing the back of your drone. So when you put it in, it should look just like that, okay? Now we're gonna come in and we're gonna do the next one. So we've gotta put this side too. And a lot of people will make the mistake and put this upside down and then it won't fit properly. Make sure it looks identical to the other side. Okay, so we're going to take the screw. Take the plate just like this. And just screw that in, but we're not going to screw it in too tight. Okay, we want to make sure that we have some movement because we still have to line this up. Now before we mount it, we're going to take our camera wire here. Okay, this is our camera wire. It's on the same side of the board as our transmitter wire, and it's going to be the colors are red, black, and yellow. And they plug into this plug at the top right here, just like that. Okay, make sure you put it all the way to the end, and it goes in red, black, and yellow. There is a spot for a fourth wire, and some of you may have four plug. Some of you only have a three plug, but no matter what, there's only three wires being used, red, black, and yellow, and red always goes towards the edge here. Okay, so it should look just like that. And you can see on the camera, it says five to 40 volt, then you have ground, and then you have video. Okay, so you just make sure your five to 40 volt is red, your ground is black, and then the video is yellow. And when you're ready, take that now, you can bring the wire inside just like this, and then sit it, snap these pieces into the bottom plate into those small slits that we said are at front, and you'll see it just like this. Okay, just like that. And if you have a hard time getting it to fit, unscrew, uh, unscrew the camera just a little bit from one side because it may be that you've gotten it screwed down so tightly that it just can't spread itself far enough to fit in these slots. But once you do this, this is what it should look like right here, okay? Just like that. Okay, get it to sit in properly. And we will tighten the camera down once and for all when we're done, but there's our camera installation just like that, okay? This is from the side the front the other side make sure you have those slits at the bottom facing the back on both slits on the bottom facing the back screw holes on the top okay all right so that's our camera installation all right now um, that's pretty much that's pretty much it all we're gonna do look around make sure everything looks good we'll tighten the, we'll clean the wires up here in a little bit just make sure that looks good for you okay now what we're gonna do here the last thing we're going to do is we're going to come back and put in our receiver. Then we're going to be done, ready to close this up. So we'll be right back in just a minute.